Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmy from Emmy Evolving. You guys, if this is your first time joining me, thank you for finding me. If it is not your first time, thank you for coming back. Pick card one, two, or three. One, two, or three. We're going to do a semi-personal read. Those who picked hashtag three, this is your card. Card number 25, first house, the body. I am not the perishable, a perishable body, but the eternal self. Move ahead with confidence. You are rising. Um, the first house represents your physical appearance, how your body works and where your strengths and weaknesses lie. It's the beginning to everything. This is also the mask that everyone else first sees. Although the first house is a house of self, it's also the persona you project. It is how you relate to the world first. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> when this card comes up in a reading, it means you will soon be feeling your own strength. Although it may feel natural just to take over and assert your power, you may need to pull back some. Try not to control or dominate certain situations as this could backfire. More positively, people feel comfortable around you now uh, and with you as their leader, and they won't mind following your lead. So you're setting the stage for yourself and for other people. You have to be aware of the influence you have on others. You have to be very, very aware of that. Presently, you will start things with great gusto, but you must follow up. You need to finish all that you start. This house shows your image. So how you come across to others is of utmost importance now and bears greatly on your success. So you're needing to clearly communicate your intentions, your needs, and whatever else is needing to be communicated. Okay. Um... Since this house opposes the seventh house of partnerships, it's a good omen regarding relationships of all kinds. It can mean relationships are about to mature or become more serious. As the first house is also about your physical body, it's important to pay attention to your health and the signals your body is sending you. This card speaks of beginnings and starting anew. It implies it's time to honor your gift of being distinct. I also hear the word direct. You have to be direct. You have to direct your distinction. It also suggests a position of leadership. My God, my body is falling apart right now. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. All right. Um, when this card turns up in a reading, it may be time to defend something of value to you. Perhaps your reputation, your authentic self, or your chosen life path. You may be challenged where you must stand by your convictions. You could have conflicts with certain authority figures and thus need to go, um, need to, go to some extra measures to keep a cool head in any given situation. Okay. That also includes... Um, situations involving your soul. This card marks a period of being tested or challenged and indicates who you are and who you will become. Whatever is implied in the surrounding cards will indicate that what must soon be faced and met is coming. All in all, the first thing to consider with this card is how healthy you are and your stamina. Then your role as a leader or just you as a person who is about to start something significant. So... Mm. I think this is a very important time for you to become aware of who you are, who you're becoming. Um, let's go ahead and do hashtag one. Your card is card number 12, Black Moon Lilith, mystery. In revenge and in love, woman is more barbaric than man is. You got that right. <laughs> you got that right. You got that right. Be careful. Be careful. 
It's time to be careful. See what I mean? It's time to be careful. Think of what might manifest over anger, bitterness, or revenge. What you have worked so hard for may collapse. Astrologically, Black Moon Lilith represents soul expansion and cosmological awareness, the force in aloneness and the path of the individual. So let's see. Lilith is the ancient goddess of mystery and transformation. Throughout the ages, Lilith was demonized. She was the first spiritual upstart, but in recent years, her status has changed. Lilith is a feminine force of command and strength. She represents the powers we hold in secret. Be careful if you're going to be working with Lilith. Be very, very careful. You better make sure that the version of mother effort. No, <laughs> sorry. The version of Lilith you work with is Lilith from the light, not Lilith in the shadows because you won't fuck yourself up. <laughs> Yeah, be very, very careful to all the ladies who are on social media and you have been scorned and therefore TikTok is reading your brain and shoving Lilith all up in your face. It is not cute to enter into a villain era. You will succumb to that darkness. You can believe me or not. It is up to you. That's not one you want to work with. Just keeping it very honest right now. That is not one you want to work with. Um, when this card turns up during a reading, something lurks. Lilith appears as a dark part of the astrological chart. She is our shadow side, the dark face of the moon where mysteries and unexplained occurrences lie in wait. Um... Okay, so first and foremost, hold on. Is that song Dark Side of the Moon? Side of the Moon lyrics? Is there a song? I've been mad for fucking years, absolutely years. Been over the edge for yonks, been working me buns off for bands. I feel it. I dig it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I dig it. I feel it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. If some song pulls up and uh, it is called Us and Them by Pink Floyd. Us and them and after all, we're only ordinary men. Me and you, God only knows it's not what we would choose to do. Forward, he cried from the rear and the front rank died. The general sat and the lines on the map move from side to side okay wait 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 oh they're not gonna kill you so like if you give them a sh quick short sharp shock they won't do it again dig it i mean he got off lightly because i would have given him a thrashing i only hit him once but it was only a difference of right and wrong in it but really i mean good manners don't cost nothing do they I mean, don't tell me that I have permission to electroshock someone and then tell me good manners <laughs> because those two do not. Um, okay, let me see the next thing. The lunatic is in my head. You rearrange me till I'm sane. Breathe, breathe in the air. Don't be afraid to care. Leave, but don't leave me. Look around and choose your own ground. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. I don't know. It, it is Pink Floyd, but I don't, I don't know what any of it means. My mind goes completely blank. <laughs> and I, I, look, it's stuck on me. Um, yeah, no, seriously, my mind goes completely blank. I don't know what it means. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, okay. This card indicates a call to wildness, even subversion. Lilith is the evocation of what may or may not be there. She can manifest as madness or self-realization. And that's the thing. If you're not strong enough within yourself <clears throat> and you work with Lily too, um, you're going you're gonna to enter into a state of madness. You're going to lose yourself. Most of the people who work with these beings – because you saw someone adorable on social media doing it. 
you better make sure you're solid within yourself, not just saying you're solid, but actually know yourself because you will lose yourself in that. Lilith represents a refusal to submit. So it's not a good time to give in, even when the path seems a rough one. There may be a tendency to isolate and focus on feelings of revenge. The hallmark of Black Moon Lilith energy is muteness and aloneness. Mm. Is this a thing of like, someone disappointed you and so you're totally like, oh, they'll see, I'll make them see. You can't make a blind person see, I'm sorry. You just can't. That is a fool's errand. You cannot make the blind see. When someone has an incapacity to see, you cannot force them to see a clarity they never had. Lilith is a subdued power and complicated magnetism. She remains awake while the rest of the world is asleep. She's the dark thoughts that enter our consciousness just before we fall asleep. This card suggests female rebellion. She can represent an angry mother, an enemy, or an embittered woman, or even a stalker or a scorned woman. <clears throat> oh, God. Is that why I get that ugly energy? You have a feeling you're waiting for something to happen, but you don't have the entire information. So the facts are hidden or mysterious. Something stalks. You feel it. But Lilith is sharp. She knows. She senses. She processes what is there. Because Lilith feels slighted, she can represent a formidable foe or dangerous enemy. So for those who chose number two, there's some fuckery going on behind the scenes. I don't know what the fuckery is. Be careful. Be careful. Uh, you might be dealing with someone who gets aroused by the fact that they are plotting on you. Okay. That's not to say that everyone has a person who is plotting on you. That is to say that you're very much registering on the radar of someone who has a very distorted perception. I'm trying to assess if you're in actual danger. In a general reading, that's a little bit harder to do, but your perception of yourself is what's in danger. The progression of your journey is what's in danger. Hmm. Be careful of your connections to others. Um, it's not necessarily that Every person needs to be um, seen as a potential black moon Lilith. It's more that if you don't conduct yourself with the appropriate level of um, sovereignty, like if you don't own your, sp your space, if you don't assert your dominance within your space, um, someone's going to become, you know, very, very emboldened, very, very, very emboldened in someone's planning things. Someone's considering things, really messed up things. Someone is considering, um, someone is considering trying you. There is someone who they're on the cusp of testing you. They're on the cusp of testing you. And in that, um, if they think that they can get away with it, because I think this is a person who lacks integrity, they're going to go for it. So what is your instruction from soul? Don't let people get away with stuff. Call things out as is appropriate. And that doesn't mean you have to get confrontational. It doesn't mean you have to cuss someone out. You could just easily be like, oh, I, I see that you're um, doing X, Y, and Z. Is there a reason why? You know, just I think for people who are testing you and what they can get away with, uh, when they see that you're paying attention, they tend to be like, oh, I probably shouldn't. I'll get caught. Most people are only ballsy when they think they won't get caught. 
Most people are only ballsy then. So keep that in mind. Y'all giving me 11 lines. I'm just saying. <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> um, through Lilith, we discover creativity and the beauty that can exist in the darkness. As long as we keep our own demons in check and under rule. So you have to be very, very careful about mirroring someone else's ugliness. Okay. Um, one of the things that Lilith has a tendency to do is very much trigger you. First, cause confusion. And then try and trigger you because now you're destabilized. Lilith is a master in destabilization. So you got to be very aware of that. Okay. For those who chose hashtag one. Um, I think it's going to come in the form of um, imbalanced emotions. So you got to keep a close eye on your emotions before you act, before you speak. You got to make sure, is this coming from a space of dysregulated emotional response? Because uh, if you don't, if you just pop off, I am pretty certain you're going to regret that. I'm pretty certain of it. I don't know what it is, but you're probably going to regret it. I could feel some people are already getting like super <laughs> triggered. Like, okay, well, you can ignore what I said if you want. You don't have to actually listen to it. I'm not always right. <laughs> do whatever you're going to do. Um. And Michael says, give you a disclaimer for those that don't know. When I say things like that, you're on your own. That means you're probably going to really seriously fuck yourself up. But that's not my place. I got to stay in my own lane. You do what you feel you need to do. Um, but just know you got demonic shit factoring in. Um, it is what it is. Um, so people who chose... Number two, you got card four. Love is my religion and I could die for that. Okay, Mr. John Keats. <laughs> um, this card says to let love take care of it for now. So Venus rules where we want the good life, where we desire ease and comfort, sweets and kisses, where we want to see beautiful, be beautiful and smell beautiful. Venus co-rules the signs of Libra and Taurus, but the energies function differently in these signs. So Venus is very partner oriented. There is a great need to unite with another when Venus card presents itself, right? This can bring on codependency and fears of going it alone. Uh-oh, Mindy. <laughs> Uh, both Libra and Taurus are signs best supported in some form of partnership, but it does not necessarily have to be romantic or a marriage. Um, let's see. Don't get lost in love, romance, and art, uh, and don't lose your practical side. Venus is a planet of fashion, luxuries, balance, symmetry, artistic ability, and sugary foods, and she prefers to overlook the ugliness of the world. You got to be careful about wearing rose colored glasses. Okay, guys, buying objects that are beautiful, unnecessary or excessive may come into play when this card is drawn. Be careful of wasting funds on items just because you want them. You may feel compelled to buy something beyond your budget, but you, uh, because you think it's beautiful while you really don't need it. This also, um, this also includes investing your energy and your time into people who are a waste of your energy and your time. That's super rude for me to say, but I'm sorry. That is the reality. You have to begin assessing who is worth the effort. Are you wasting your time investing in something, hoping it will pan out because your soul is already telling you that this is not for you, but you're saying, yes, it is. Yes, it is. 
I'm just, I just need to do more. I need to try harder. I need to make it work. That's up to you. You may feel compelled to buy something beyond your budget because you think it's beautiful while you don't really need it. On the other hand, you may be attracting these very things on your own. Venus also rules money, especially money shared in a relationship or marriage, but this can be a business enterprise as well. Money worries should find resolution. So there is a need to allow things to flow so that the resolution can come into play. Um, Venus is the most humane and fair of the planet, so you may be asked or feel compelled to settle a dispute. Courts, law, and judgments may factor in. But more on this, this card indicates either a new love coming into your life or the improvement or a new start for an older love relationship. Um, Michael's laughing at me. He says to read this again. <laughs> Venus is the most humane and fair of the planets, so you may be asked or feel compelled to settle a dispute. And Michael's laughing because... I have Capricorn for my Venus. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Don't get me to that point. You won't have any problems. You won't have any need to hope that I am willing to settle anything. Because <laughs> it takes a lot to get me there. So by the time I'm there, fuck you. You've earned it. Let's take it all the fucking way. I'm just saying <laughs> I give people plenty of opportunities to bow out of shit. I do. I do. I'm the type of person, you know, as I was telling um, some of the people closest to me the other day, like I've come to realize my threshold for people's bullshit is about a year. By the end of a year of like fucking tolerating people's bullshit, I'm like, you know, I don't know that we're aligned. <laughs> I don't know that there's resonance. I think maybe I should just leave you alone. You know, I think that maybe just, you know, by the time there's like actual legalities being disputed, no, fuck that. You gonna learn, motherfucker. You gonna learn. You need to learn. Ain't nobody else taught you. I'm gonna fucking teach you. <laughs> yeah oopsie but more on this this card indicates either okay a new love right you can be assured you are found very attractive at the present time and maybe the subject of some advances i mean do you want that because if you want that perfect that's awesome if you don't want that you better correct people before it gets too far before it gets too far i'm saying you know, I'm learning now when people start trying to be cute with me, talking about how they think I'm cute. I, oh, being all flirty, flirty. I'm gonna be like, no, motherfucker. <laughs> right to the forehead. No, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't find you cute. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I guess some people kind of need that right from the start before they get too carried away with their bullshit. Right? Like, too carried away with their bullshit. I'm telling you. Especially if you have, like, Piscean essence. For some reason, they find you just so delectable. <laughs> uh, not Pisceans and empaths at large. Because most Pisceans, most, not all. Most Pisceans are highly empathic. Um, so I, I would, let's, let's take out the Piscean and let's just put empath. For those who are very empathic, people can just be drawn to you and they might start thinking some kind of way about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start like just, I'm going to write a disclaimer and be like, no, baby, you're not in love with me. It's just I'm psychic. You like that. It's okay. There's lots of other psychics. Go bother them. <laughs> so. All right. It's a time for full heart blessings. If a relationship begins, it will have more of a sense of contentment and happiness to it. Um, Venus is a planet of charmers. See what I'm saying? 
So you may want to pour on the charm in a situation. Someone might be trying to pour on the charm in a situation. Uh, or it might be you. Who knows? Just make sure it's worth it. There's a tendency to become more socially engaging. At this time, people will generally be sweeter, more helpful, and amenable. It is a good period to smooth ruffled feathers or make peace with others. Using diplomacy will serve you momentous, momentously. So for those who picked card number two, um, this is a period that can work in your favor, but it seems like you have to play the game, whatever that means. Um, play the game, not being fake, right? Not creating a story to get your way. This has more to do with you um, using your charm for someone who's already considering agreeing to whatever it is you're proposing, right? If they're already heavily considering it, using your charm to encourage them um, to get them more comfortable with the decision they are already in the process of making in your favor uh, that can be beneficial because it's not like you're trying to coerce someone. You got to make sure that you, you handle this, um, this, oh my God, this period and opportunity, uh, with tremendous care and elevations in integrity is very, very important. Okay. Don't lose yourself in what you're trying to achieve. You got to make sure. Aside from that, I hope everyone has an amazing rest of your day. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Join me when I'm live. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye, everyone.